World Championship, people spend millions and millions of dollars to achieve. They're few and far between sometimes, and luckily we've been fortunate to smash out seven of them. Education is key. The Fab School is providing massive levels of fabrication skills. And with a Pro 4, I really took what my dad built and kind of worked on over the years. And I cut the back of that truck off four times because I just didn't know what was right. But the risks that we take building race cars um, win races. And it, it puts money in the bank, puts food on my table. You know, my Fab Skills are feeding my family. So I take it very serious and, and we deliver the Fab School. They've opened that gamut to a lot of people to just learn whatever the heck they want. My crew chief from two years ago works there. He's an instructor in the fabrication department. Larry Hawkins is there. He was my dad's crew chief for literally my entire life, so 25 years. So it's guys that are in the industry that have made a living doing what these people are there to learn to do. They're gonna tell you how to do it, and they're gonna throw your part away, and they're gonna make you do it again, because that's what this off-road world is. That's what fabrication is. You gotta get it right, and if you don't, you know, you gotta figure out. You gotta be one of those guys that's smart enough to take a risk. The end result is you get a trade and you get to go into the real world and build whatever you want and know exactly how to do it, no questions asked. You can learn it all one place, the Fab School. When we're building these Pro 4 trucks, it's, it's always trying to think three years from now what's gonna be the best. It's borderline insane. I mean, when you have extreme athletes come here and try it and, and love it, like Deegan and McGrath, and we have these big names that come in here and they love it. When you have a sport like that, you gotta push it. You gotta push it to its limits. We gotta take these trucks and throw them higher. We gotta slam them harder. We gotta make them look even sicker, more entertaining, louder. All of that chaos is what Short Course is, smashed into a single day event, and you can bring your family and watch it from the safety of the grandstands and enjoy it with some popcorn. It's a, it's a cool event, short course racing is absolutely insane. Winning races to me is massive. And my, my whole mindset, ever since I started racing Pro Light since 2004, win races and win a championship because I like victories I like winning I want to earn it I want to go out there and crush it and and sometimes you do and sometimes we're upside down backwards on fire and destroyed I like that I like to be the underdog or sometimes come from behind and a big loss of points or or just get a gap early and just crush win 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 when you're going 14 races in a row like it was it's been some stupid road trips to championships so I like winning races, I win races to win championships, but uh, that's just how we roll over here. Kyle Duke here, driver of the number 99 Pro 4, out here in Chandler, Arizona. Final rounds of 2019, finally here. It's just time to capitalize and try to lock down a championship. Kyle Duke falling to the back of the pack early on. Let us sink in, man. We did uh, we did a lot of work this year. Took a lot of risks with our truck and our team, and we did it. The guys that came here from California to 
kids from the bad school, they, they had no idea what was short course anything. And they were throwing me wrenches and helping me out and climbing underneath the truck and getting dirty oil all over them. I mean, the, it, it gets, gets them ready for the real, real world outside of the fab school. And, you know, they wanted to experience that real world life, so they came to the best place on earth. And, uh, you know, they did good. It get, gives them a lot of ex, uh, experience. It's gnarly. We just capped everything off a season with a win, and that's the best and only way I like to do a championship. And uh, we nailed it. Now we're just gonna go throw down. We start dead last, dude. Like I don't know, 20 some odd trucks to pass. But I've done it literally almost every year. And if we don't win it, we are last. So I will either be super pumped or super pissed after this race. <laughs> Drivers, start your engine! If I knew what to say right now, I would I would say <laughs> I'm I'm blown away. There's so many cars to pass, so many restarts and chaos and thrashing and <sighs> Yeah, we win. <laughs> we win. I can't believe it. Unbelievable. 30 grand. We did it. It's an adventure for us and, and we love it, we live it. Like I got the best team on the planet. We got so many volunteers. All these guys show up and, and they love it. And when they love it as much as I do, watch out, there's no stopping us. It's, it's the love of our life, that's why we're here and I'll never do anything different.